Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and in this video I'm going to show you two things. It's all about the faces. One is how I stitch around the small little eyes, and the other is how I stitch right on the line for their smiles and whiskers and other facial features. These are the two things that I'm going to show you in this video. One is stitching around this eye. It's not a teeny tiny eye, but it is a pretty small shape. And the other is how to stitch right on that line. Those are the two parts of applique that I get the most questions about how to do those. So I have a really thick thread in here right now. That's because uh, I like the thicker outline for this particular applique project. But I also used it for this demo because it'll show up better when we're stitching the mouth. So you'll be able to see that better. But the technique that I'm using is the same whether you're using the thicker thread or whether you're using just a regular all-purpose thread. For the thicker thread, I have a top stitching needle in, but normally I would just use a regular universal needle. I also, right now, I have my stitch length set at two, a half, two and a half, which is what my machine defaults to. These are not teeny, teeny, tiny eyes, so I'm going to leave it at two and a half. But if you're having trouble with it or uh, are doing smaller eyes, the first thing that you should do is um, reduce your stitch length. The smaller the stitch length, the easier it is to do those tighter curves. So, so we're going to start by burying the needle by hand, just a little bit away from the edge. If you can see how close that is. It's hard with the black background, I know. And then I lower that by hand, or lower the presser foot, and I'm going to take just a couple of stitches. My machine automatically stops with the needle down and raises the presser foot up for me. If your machine doesn't do that, that's not a problem. You can just lower the needle by hand using the hand crank and then raise the presser foot yourself. Turn it just a couple of, just a smidge, and then do another couple of stitches. Turn it just a little bit and do a stitch. That was the pointiest part, so I'm just doing one stitch, the narrowest part of the oval. Now I'm going to do probably two stitches here. And I see I am going very, very slow. Do a couple more stitches, stop and turn. Now I'm at that narrow point again, so I'm probably just going to do one stitch, spin it, now I'm going to back to where I started, I'm just going to do a couple of stitches overlap, and then I'm going to cut my thread. And I'm going to pull this out and flip it over so you can see it from the back, Let me snip that thread. So I've just gone in a loop around the eye, but that's black on black, so I'm going to flip it over so you can see the neat oval. And that is where I've overlapped a little bit, but you can see that it's just a neat trim oval right around the edges. The trick is to go slow, stop and reposition as you need to every couple of stitches, and then just keep going, just one or two stitches at a time. And if you need to shorten the stitch length, do that too. Now I'm going to do the mouth. And I'm, again, I'm going to bury that needle before I lower my presser foot. And I'm going to bury it like right close to the end of the mouth, but not actually on the end, because I'm going to backstitch one stitch first. So I'm going to lower my presser foot, make sure I'm lined up right, and I'm going to backstitch just one stitch. And now I'm going to go forward, and I'm just going to keep it going slow and just follow right on that line. I draw my line on there with a permanent pen. So it's not going anywhere. If I go off the line too much, that's going to be forever and ever visible. So I, again, I'm going really slow and repositioning as I need to. And I'm not quite at the end of the line, so I'm going to do one more stitch. And then I'm going to back stitch a couple stitches and cut it off. So for the mouth, you want to go right on that line and just go slow and follow the line. Snip that right close to the edge and you have a nice neat mouth. So that's it. Three things to remember. One, shorten your stitch length if you need to. Two, go slow. And three, stop any time you need to, needle down, and pivot your piece to reposition it so that you get a nice smooth curve. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. I'll see you next time.